I've been sitting on my butt all week. At least, that's what it feels like. Do you ever get the feeling that your brain wants to work, but your eyes and head are locked onto your computer screen and for a split second you want to destroy it all and go live in the woods like a real freaking human being? I didn't do that. I never broke free long enough to go grab a bat. But I did break free long enough to watch something instructive. Have you ever heard of Masterclass? It's a website where masters teach classes. Maybe I need to find a master of breaking free. I'm Spike Lee, and this is my Masterclass. Spike Lee taught me many things. Most of them I don't remember at all because I consumed over two hours of dense information in one sitting, and it's humanly impossible to learn things that way, speaking from my own personal experience. But I'm not completely deaf. One thing stood out, and it was how to break free. It's all in my stupid, immobile head. By that I don't mean that I'm making it all up. I mean that my brain is doing something stupid to freeze myself in place, and this masterclass showed me what. I always thought that if you were successful in Hollywood and made critically acclaimed high-grossing movies, you could make whatever you want because, I mean, you're famous now, right? But that's not true. Shocking. Yeah, even proven directors can have a horrible time trying to get movies made. Spike Lee told me this. It's obvious now that I've accepted it. It's easy to look through rose-colored glasses on success and think of that as an end goal that you're always running toward. But it turns out if all you do is stare up at the stars, you're liable to trip on a crack in the sidewalk. Pay attention to the frickin' sidewalk. All this is to say I was frozen looking at a screen instead of being productive because I had been thinking of a starry future that was impossibly far away. But when that star was extinguished by the harsh truth that even Spike Lee struggles to get movies made, I realized that real motivation and my drive to be creative comes from storytelling itself. The bottom line is, if my end goal is fame or money or even creative freedom, I'll never achieve that goal because no matter how successful I am, it will never be enough. Reality is often disappointing. But if I disregard that impossible future and focus on things that are important to me and achievable here and now, there is no excuse not to get back to work. <laughs>